Hi, so I'm on my lunch break. I'm having this Splendid Spoon Kale Pesto. My Splendid Spoon order came yesterday. This is my second box from them, and I actually really liked it. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, the food isn't like, it's not like mind-blowingly good, but like the convenience factor I think is worth it, and it is pretty good, and it tastes fresh, it tastes healthy, like I feel good when I eat it. So this has, it looks like it's probably gluten-free because it's made with rice noodles, um, kale, roasted tomatoes, garlic, almonds, pumpkin seeds, olive oil, hemp seeds, black pepper, etc, etc. I definitely noticed this one is a little bit on the dry side, and sometimes like you just have to give it a good stir and there's like stuff at the bottom. But I think this one is just, it's dry. That's just what we got. I actually wouldn't be surprised if that's because of the hemp seeds because I feel like those kind of suck up like liquid. It's pretty good though. I think if I was eating it at home, I would probably add like a tiny bit of olive oil or maybe like veggie broth or something like that, but it's good. Anyway, today's been a busy week. Did that, that made no sense. What? <laughs> Today, today has been a busy week. This week has been a busy week is what I tried to say. I saw Sparks on Monday at Walt Disney Concert Hall. They were amazing and I was like considering not going because I'm still not too crazy about the idea of like being in like packed public spaces, especially like indoors, but they did require vaccines including booster and like max masks were required indoors. So I felt like it was pretty safe. And also being that it was like a seated show, you were kind of just like in contact with the people in your immediate vicinity. It's not like you were like mingling with everyone who was there. Not that that's what I do at a show anyway, but you know what I mean. Like, I feel like you come into contact with less people. Anyway, the show was really, really good, especially when you consider that Sparks are in, like, their 70s, and they haven't played a show in, like, two years. They were, like, they were amazing. I've been listening to their songs for probably, like, 20 years, and, like, I still can't sing along to the, some of their songs on the radio without messing up, and, like, to see them, like, on the top of their game after, like, a period of not performing, like, it was pretty impressive. I've actually seen them twice before. I want to say it was, like... 2005 and 2006 it was like two years in a row actually around this time it was valentine's day i think both years it was on valentine's day and i feel like um i was a newer fan then and they were still really good but i feel like i appreciated the show a lot more just because i've been listening to them so much longer and their catalog is enormous so like there's just way more songs that i know now i feel like i picked the wrong thing to eat while vlogging because this is going to be all in my teeth, right? Anyway, um, also this week I started Victoria Stillwell Academy. I posted a video on the Vegan Pet Sitter YouTube channel. Um, I actually posted on this channel on the community tab telling you that I posted that video, but I don't think anybody sees it. I know I have trouble even finding the community tab when I want to see what other people are posting, so I'm not sure if you saw that, but I'll link the video in the description box in case you want to watch it, but I talked about how I was finally deciding to sign up for Victoria Stillwell Academy. I shouldn't say finally because I did give myself a deadline of April 1st to start, and I ended up starting like sometime around February 1st. But yeah, I just decided I didn't want to wait any longer. I wanted to, it's going to take about six months and I just didn't, I wanted to finish sooner. So um, I'm really glad that I got started um, getting like a study schedule down. Like every morning I'm doing like one module. Wait, that's not right. I'm doing like one chapter. Each module is multiple chapters and I'm doing like a chapter a day. This morning I did two chapters because tomorrow 
I'm going to Disneyland, so I don't know. Oh, I also have a call with my business coach tomorrow morning. Um, it got rescheduled, so I wanna make sure I have enough time to get the stuff I need to do before work. And then I have two clients, and then in the afternoon, I'm going to Disneyland uh, for one of the last days of Lunar New Year. I think Lunar New Year celebration ends on Sunday, so I'm pretty excited to be going to do that tomorrow. Um, my last trip to Disneyland was like two months ago, and uh, today I just plan another day. I'm going to be going back on February 23rd because they announced that the trams are coming back. I feel like this is like some of the most um, anticipated Disneyland park news. Like I just remember as a little kid going to Disneyland and like not fully like being familiar with the park and like remembering all of the rides from last time, you know, and getting on the tram and thinking that was like the first ride of the day, like it was exciting and it's like that's not even a ride yet. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I was already very excited about going tomorrow, but now I'm like even more excited about the 23rd. So I think that's all I want to say right now. I am going to do a full video, just is that that's not even the label. Splendid Spoon. I'm going to do a full review video on Splendid Spoon. Probably I'll wait. This is my second week, so at the end of finishing all of my food for this week, I'll make like a combined review on both. So if you have any questions about it, um, let me know in the comments and I'll address it in that video. And I'm going to head into work and I don't know if I'm going to check in again tonight, but I will see you tomorrow at Disneyland. Okay, hi, so I'm back. I realized I said I wasn't going to come back. I didn't think I was going to come back today, but then I remembered that I wanted to like include all of the Splendid Spoon. I'm not showing you the label correctly again. Did I? Did I? Maybe I did it right. All of the Splendid Spoon stuff that I eat this week. So I started this in the afternoon before I did my last couple of dog walks. Um, my plan was to come home and watch Walking Dead because Walking Dead comes back technically next week, a week from Sunday. Um, but because I have AMC Plus, I'm going to be watching it this Sunday, which will have happened already by the time you see this video. So I'm trying to catch up on the first part of this season. Um, I was on a good roll last night and I thought I was going to finish, but then I got to the episode that scares me. I think this is maybe the only, <laughs> the only Walking Dead episode that like legitimately scares me. Like I'm, I'm, I know there's like scary moments, but like this episode... Okay, it's called On the Inside and it's season 11, episode six. It's the one where Connie and Virgil are like inside that house. And I'm not gonna tell you like, in case you haven't seen it yet, what happens, but I really like the episode. I think it's a great episode and I love Lauren Ridloff. Um, and I think her performance is in, it, in it is part of the reason that it is scary to me. I feel like it's very relatable and like easy to put yourself in her position. It's easy to feel what she's feeling, which is like terrified. So I'm gonna try to watch the episode now i think it, it's gonna be fine i was gonna watch it earlier today between walks when i came home and started this drink but then uh on my way back here i ended up finding a random dog and um that didn't take too long but i pulled over and got his phone number called his dad and uh so i was able to take him back home and he was really cute he's a puppy probably like eight months old something like that very cute very friendly too i think he just thought we were gonna hang out he's like hi who are you anyway so this is the power green smoothie all day today i was craving like a green juice and i was gonna stop and get one and then i remembered i had this stuff at home and i actually really like this um it's got something in it i think it's their it's either their pea protein or hemp protein no it's not hemp protein they have hemp seeds i think it must be the pea protein there's something in it that I've had in their other smoothies before and I didn't like it, like in the fruit smoothies, didn't like it, but I think it works here. But you can kind of, it has a flavor and also a texture. Like I'll show you a close up, like you can see little flecks of it. Like I almost want to say clumps. It's not just flecks, it's like clumps. They're not like chewy clumps though, but it does have hemp seeds and chia seeds. So there is like crunchies in there, but I like it. I also made their red lentil soup. <laughs> I'm just saying like I made it, like I didn't make it. I put it in the microwave. It's ready right now. So I'm gonna go, I'll show you what that looks like. I've already tasted it, so I know it's good. Um, I'll show it to you and then I'm gonna watch the TV. I will see you tomorrow at Disneyland. Hi again. So I realized I've told you twice now that the next time you see me, I'm gonna be at Disneyland and it's been a lie, I'm a liar. But I just got off my call with my business coach. My goal for today was going to be to go to work a little bit early so I can get to Disneyland as early as possible so I can leave as early as possible. But I set some goals with my coach for things that I wanna accomplish. I have Saturday and Sunday off this week, um, which means I'm going to still be working, but I'm gonna be working on stuff on my business at home. Um, and so I have some stuff that I want to get done 
by the end of the weekend that are really gonna like move my business forward, specifically stuff related to my website. Like I've had a lot of people wanting to book training services and things like that, but I feel like until I have a website or something that I can show them, like I feel like I'm not ready. So I'm gonna be working on my about me page on my website. I'm gonna be working on my homepage. I also need to make a survey for like prospective training clients to kind of get a little bit of more information about like their pets and the problem they're having um, and what type of training services they're looking for. And then also like kind of a breakdown of like the packages I'm offering. So I'm trying to get as much of that done this weekend as possible, specifically the about me page and the homepage. Um, and then the other two things I'm giving myself until the end of the week. I just dropped a piece of rice <laughs> and then I ate it couch rice anyway this is my um, splendid spoon for today I can't read it backwards what is it it's like lemon wild rice and broccoli this is what it looks like it's wild rice and broccoli and so this is it's good like it's fine it's uh you know not blowing me out of the water it tastes a little bit mustardy which I kind of some people might not like that Personally, I do use mustard in my sauces and sometimes I think it's weird. I mean, to me it's good, but I feel like it's a little weird. But something I've kind of realized about Splendid Spoon is like a lot of their meals taste like things that I would make myself, which like might seem like a downside, like simple basic meals that I would make myself. But the nice thing is though, I didn't have to make it myself. I didn't have to wash the pan. I didn't have to do the dishes. I didn't have to clean the kitchen. So it's like nice in that way. It's like simple and healthy and I don't have to do any work to eat it. So like my favorite time to do Splendid Spoon and like other meal delivery and stuff is when I'm really busy with work because then that's like one thing that I can take off my to-do list for the week is I don't have to worry about cooking or shopping or anything like that. Like my meals just appear and then I don't have to think about it. So I'm gonna work on my website. I'm gonna be using, um, what is this called? I mean, I know it's an iPad, but I <laughs> use, I'm using the GoodNotes app. Um, I am not gonna be working directly on my website because once I start making edits, um, I have to finish or else I have to take my website offline, which I don't want to do. So I'm just going to use the notes app and like hand, I'm a pen and paper person, but I feel like this is going to be something that I'm going to want to like edit and move things around and stuff like that. So it'll be nice to have it like electronic. So I'm just going to use this to like brainstorm and get everything, try to get everything organized, like how I could potentially want it. And then tomorrow when I have the day off, I'll go in and actually put it on my website. So I'm going to do that now. And the next time you see me, no joke, I'm gonna be at Disneyland. Okay, I made it, I'm here, hello. What is happening? <sighs> I'm wearing my Club 33 hat so people think I have money. My contact lens popped out on the way here. It's fine, it's back in now, but it was a harrowing journey, but I made it, I'm here, let's go to Disneyland. <laughs>
Hello, good evening. It's Sunday evening. I just got home from watching the Super Bowl, which apparently is a thing that I care about now. Football, I'm like just learning how football works, the rules of football. And so it kind of interests me now. Like I never cared about learning the rules or learning anything about the game. Um, apparently being locked in my house for two years and like being isolated from other people and activities that I care about, like that is what it took to get me to care about football. Anyway, I'm home now. I'm going to eat the rest of this pint from Salt and Straw. Uh, I got this at Downtown Disney the other night. It is the Great Cookie Swap, which is one of their holiday vegan flavors. Um, this is one of the ones that like I most wanted to try and I thought I missed my shot because I didn't go to Salt and Straw over the holidays. I only have like three bites left, but um, if I'm being honest, like it's not my favorite from Salt and Straw. I think my favorite is still probably, what is it? It's like lavender, no, hazelnut, chocolate, dandelion, something, I don't know. Oh, and I think it has some kind of like Oreos or something in it. Anyway, this one is good. It's like definitely like some unexpected flavors. It's like kind of subtle. It's like, I think the ice cream itself is like mint and then it's got like bits of like cookies and like maybe brownie or something in there. Speaking of food, I should tell you about the uh, Splendid Spoon stuff that I had today. I had a smoothie was chocolate cherry and I think that's one of my favorite ones that I've had from them so far. Um, it was like a cherry smoothie with like little bits of chocolate in it and then for lunch I had like a white bean tomato kale thing which was okay but the smoothie was better and so I think that's all I wanted to say I can tell my camera is having trouble focusing right now um I'm having trouble focusing right now so I'm gonna go uh try to watch my show it's like 8 30 which is late for me to be starting a show I usually am getting ready for bed right about now the only reason I'm watching it, I'm gonna try to get through it. So, I, cause I, I like to start working as soon as I wake up in the morning lately. Um, like I'll probably start editing this video when I get up and start my Victoria Stillwell class. I try to get that done like early, like before the sun comes up. Um, and I don't wanna start, I know if I don't watch this tonight, I'm gonna wa wanna watch it in the morning. So anyway, um, thanks for watching the video. I do have some review videos coming up and then I signed up for a daily vlogging challenge, which I don't even actually know what the challenge is. Um, I know it's going to be a week long and I think it's not this week, but the week after. So, um, I think it's going to be like similar to what I did this week where it's like a week in my life vlogging every day and put into one video, but I'm not really sure. It's related to the Casey Neistat class that I did. So, um, we'll see how that goes. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I'll see you soon. Bye.